What happens if my amygdala is just too stubborn to be retrained? <laughs> yeah. We get a lot of achievers in this realm. You know, I remember when I ran uh, private practice one-on-one, -on -one, people would always come in and say, Ashok, I bet I'm the worst case you've ever seen, right? <laughs> Their achiever mentality would come out and they'd want to say, yeah, I'm, uh, you know, I, I know you've seen lots of people and you've healed lots of people, but, but my condition's really unique. Yeah, I don't think you can deal with mine, yeah? Because we all think that what we've got is super unique because we've been on our own unique journey to get here. Yeah. And the truth is that your brain is not doing this to annoy you. It is your friend. It wants to protect you. It loves you deeply. At least when we talk about parts later on. I know it's difficult to imagine a brain structure loving you, but a, a kind of part of you, your protective parts are here to help you. And so therefore, it's not that they are doing this because they're too stubborn. It's because we haven't communicated with them in the right way. That's the difference. We haven't been able to communicate with them in the right way to update them with new information. And that's what we're doing in retraining.